and welcome back to episode 5 of Vinyl Fantasy 2. As always, Rock here. Now, I did a bit of exploring in the area, um, around the area down here last, um, since last time. Um, I ended up finding about a little over two stacks of iron, um, found some apples, some arrows, etc, etc, etc. However, there's one little place that I, uh, I need to investigate and it's down at the bottom of the water stream and I think there's also a few potions that I'll need to grab in there at some point but for now let's go for the jump Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that went a lot better than I expected but there is one more place down here that we need to investigate into a little bit um, right down at the back of the uh, the little water pool down here, um, I did notice that there was a little um, a little entrance way into the uh, into it, and I noticed there was some skeletons that were spawning from a spawner into there as well. So it does indicate to me that it could potentially be something that would be worth investigating to. Uh, into at the very least and I figured on on screen would probably be the best best place to do that always try to do as much explorative stuff on screen as I can as it gives for more enjoyable stuff mm -mm -mm. now it may be something it may be nothing um, I guess in general uh, we'll find out uh, right was in the back? Right there, right there. Uh, so to the right, <laughs> not to the back. I was seeing some skeletons spawning in here. Yeah, like that one right there. Okay. Now I'm hearing some slimes. I assume it's slimes. A little bit more iron if I do need it. Okay, that could potentially turn into a good... Where is this slime coming from? Oh, hello. You. <laughs> you are the entrance blocker. Okay. So it does look like. Oh, let's turn the cinematic camera off. It does look like there is something potentially in this room. Mm 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 mm. Hi! There must be some magma cream slime, mag, blah, 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 magma slime spawners. Now I don't know. If I necessarily want to keep keep. Hold on. My observant eyes tell me that that's an arrow. Har har har. How many spawners are in here? And how many of you are actually going to give me some slime, slimy, slimy, gooey goodness? You guys are vicious little guys, aren't you? Okay, so there's at least four of these spawners here. Do I have any? No, you didn't give me any. <sighs> I kind of want to keep these here. Actually, no. Do I really need to keep these? Uh, we do have some up up top, um, so I may not need to keep keep these guys around. I could probably get rid of them, I think. Let's get rid of them. It's a shame we're not playing in 1-3-2 like we were planning to uh, just because of the XP off the spawners, but we'll, uh, we'll deal with it. Oh. Ah. Hey, right, get out of here. Well, <laughs> if anything, we'll get a, we'll get a few magma creams. My God. You guys are vicious little guys. You're not as friendly as your brethren, the slimes. At least the smaller versions of you. Actually, no, you guys look pretty friendly. You doing much? Are you doing much harm? Alright, now, we'll block that off. What do we have here? Ooh! Unbreaking 10, unbreaking 10. Nice try, guy. Nice try. Do this. 
But yeah, I was looking at this and I'm like, that looks like an arrow. Let me peek in there first. Okay. It looks like a rail line to something. Now I'm wondering, um, just kind of thinking about it, it does seem like it might be um, possibly a rail line to the next intersection. Um, that is my fast gas protection 2 on breaking 3. That's actually a pretty good set of gear. On breaking 10s, oh, the axes will be good, pickaxes, sharp 2 smites, the swords will be good. Let me deposit some of this mess stuff. You, you. I'll grab that. Shovels and hoes are pretty useless to me at the moment. We'll continue on from there. Alright, so we are found ourselves in the midst of a rail line. Uh, minecarts, 8 minute speed potion. Now, the biggest thing when it comes to minecart lines is you don't want to trust them. I apologize, 3 2, that I do not trust your minecart line. <laughs> but I hope you understand that uh, I've been I've been made a fool plenty of times for trusting a map maker's line cart line line, and it's usually a majority of the time it resulted in my death. All right, um, we are definitely underground. I'm wondering uh, that actually looks like it's probably the uh, the, the layer above like where the uh, first intersection is interesting so we have two layers here well, why are we at 39 okay so we're at the bottom bottom I guess the top half of them top, top height top half of the height was dedicated to the first intersection and the bottom half of this height was dedicated to the second intersection I guess Okay, that looks like an S. Are we in the south? Was this the south intersection? Where did we come from? Are we coming from the south? Are these going to be a, a, the uh, la, north, south, east, west? No. Okay, never mind. This is a two. This is a two backwards. Alright, well, this does look like a new intersection for sure. Why we're coming from two and not one is a bit perplexing. What's that down there? That looks like an ender portal. <laughs> I bet that is intersection three. <laughs> um, caution. Surface exit closed due to mudslide. Caution. To Shellshock Island. Well, I'll be damned. I think we found intersection two. And that definitely looks like a record mine. I definitely think we should clear our way over to that record the jukebox monument. Right, why is it so why are you guys spawning over here? It shouldn't be dark enough. Or is there a lighting bug? Or just it's too dark. I suppose that could be an option. Pull lever to relight Vessel of the Ancients. <laughs> I like it. Boop. It's actually center too. Perfect. Area. The Jukebox Monument. So we are not supposed to break, if I remember correctly, jukeboxes. Or... Wool, I think, in the jukebox monument. We we'll get ourselves a little bit of lighting in here. Um, boop, boop. It's so pretty. Now this does look pretty similar to, or it looks identical to the one that we saw in a Vinyl Fantasy one on live stream. And if that is the case, I'm wondering if there is... I remember... Oh, that's right, we have no space. All of no space in our inventory. I remember... There being hidden chests around. 
in the first version of it. Ah, I hope it's not under these under these lights. If you know, if it is the same as the uh, Final Fantasy one. I don't know. Maybe under the lamp. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, we've made a mistake. Um, help! Help, Tetsu! <laughs> I messed up! Um, alright. Alright. <laughs> the hardest part of the map getting out of the hole. <laughs> I found my new enemy. Okay, that goes there. This goes meh. This goes meh. Alright, so maybe. Maybe he didn't hide. The wrecker, or her hide chest. I remember there was chests hidden in um, Final Fantasy 1, which I thought they were in these parts of it. Maybe under here? No. Well. I tried. I tried to remember. Anyways, so we have our jukebox monument. We do have two pieces of the jukebox monument, actually. That would be a good thing to kind of move its way into. And apparently, this up here leads to the first intersection. All right, dispose of this guy. You, my good sir, are going to ruin everything. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, I guess the only thing left to do at this point is continue our way up. Now, I wonder, since that says 1, that would, you know, the logic says that should be the first area to go. And then our area would have been the second area to go. So, is this area going to be easier than this area? That's, ooh, what makes me curious the very least we're not going to have to come back um, once we finish intersection one we won't have to go back that way to get there <laughs> if I had to run all the way back or cart all the way back to area one I'd probably go crazy because that is one hell of a distance to go Are we almost there how tall is this damn thing Okay. Go up here. Up here, maybe. Wow! Shellshock Island! Okay. Looks like. Oh, no! Oh. God, for that torch. <laughs> the good thing about torches. Pro tip. If you are digging up or digging in a sandy area, torches are your friend. It's something that I've kind of eventually learned as I was kind of playing Minecraft. Is that if you're digging up, you should always have a torch at your feet. Dig up. If any sand or gravel comes to attempt to suffocate you, it kind of gets thrown um, into the uh, into blocks, thrown into blocks. Her her gets turned into blocks. Um, now we've been pretty busy getting iron in a in our base. Hold on, I'll, I'll put you here for now. Um, pretty busy getting iron for our base um, from that area too. And as you can see, we are going to be. Very happy with the results of our iron accomplishment. We have over two stacks of iron, and that should last us quite a while. Now, I don't want to say it'll last us the rest of the map, but definitely it's going to last us quite a while. And we will grab our records, and let's head back down real quick. Um, we'll drop off the records in the monument, 
And then I think we will get ourselves over to area three and investigate that. Get that, try to get that over with today, if not today, next time. And then I can uh, off screen move all the stuff over to this intersection. And uh, we can continue from here next time. Hopefully, either next time or the time after that, we can continue from intersection two. Mm -mm -mm. So that should be good. That should be good. <laughs> this is terrifying. Actually, I think I have feather fall on my boots, don't I? Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you're not impressed. I'm definitely gonna have to water bucket to down there. Um, with all this iron, we have a we have a water bucket. So getting down there is not gonna be too difficult, luckily. Alright, first desk, cat. Cat, cat, cat. Is I think the green blue one. That's Ward. The green Black one? Cat. Cat. Ooh! Hello! Thank you very much for the lovely, lovely reward. Was it under here? Huh. I wonder if he switched, he kind of hid the uh, dispensers this time uh, since last time. Alright, we got far, which this one is. Green, light green, or green blue. Far. Oop. Hmm. We're gonna have a nice collection of these golden apples by the time by the time we're through with this map. I think we could probably get to the point where uh, we just use golden apples as food versus actually using a normal food source. <laughs> but that is two records successfully placed into the monument and now I do believe if I remember correctly from Final Fantasy 1 there should be metal blocks do the metal blocks get placed in here I believe we've placed the we we're supposed to place a diamond block and a gold block and an iron block I'm not seeing the signs for the, the metal blocks so maybe he um he might have, um, 3 2 might have removed the block requirement from, uh, from this map versus the, uh, the first map. Good to know. Good to know. Anyways, I'm going to resupply and start heading over towards Area 3, and I'll catch you guys on my transit over to Area 3. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we are on our way off into Area 3. Um... Actually, it looks like it's not going to be too far off, which is actually nice, because uh, the transit between the, the intersection and Area 2 is quite a long trip. Now, the question is, what do we have in store for us in uh, this area? That actually looks pretty cool up there. It looks like it's like a tornado chaos and destruction. And I see it, something over there, too. So we'll definitely... It actually looks really trippy. Kind of reminds me of... Um, I want to say I've seen a picture of this before. It was either this or... Um, I don't remember if it was 3-2 or Zakaj that I've seen a picture that was similar to that before. It might have been 3-2. Don't know. But we are heading into Area 3, which looks like it's going to be quite the chill of a... <laughs> quite a cold area to be. Um, now, as the... Um, previous recorded sections were... Um, it did take about 20 minutes up to record the previous part of this episode. Um, we probably won't be doing much this episode... I'm guessing we'll get a probably about 10, 20 minutes of recording in, if I uh, manage to stop in time. And then I'll probably have to finish it next time. 
I'm gonna have to run over there and check if that's a loot or something. Sub area, the frozen tundra thereof. Let me back up over here a little bit. So I don't get any surprise visits while I'm trying to read this. Hand, why are you in the way? My hand is gonna cover. I don't know how to work my hand. Um, upon the arrival, uh, <clears throat> upon the arrival of an alien and destructive force in our jungle habitat, we set forth in a new direction. We discovered this small frozen island, but we were too late. It seems the alien species has planted its destructive obelisk here to stake their claim on this land. If this world is to become, to be ours, it will become so by overcoming great adversary adversity we have no choice but now but to something underground retreat to underground hand why are you in the way wait i can i can read a little bit ah spider I'm trying to read don't you have any manners all right well that doesn't sound good in the slightest. Now, I wanted it to run over here real quick. Now, this is either going to be... Oh, I think this is a loot. This will be an actual loot chest versus the other one. Very unfriendly loot. Oh, God, no! Well... I hope there was nothing important in that. <laughs> um. Oh, look at that. A hole to the void. How nice of you. Well. I hope there was nothing important in there. Because it is a no longer existent. <laughs> Alright, so let's work our way. Oh, God. This would have been a lot better coming to at night time versus day. Uh, actually, no. It would have been miserable either way. Um, so the question is, where exactly are we going towards? Um, the book, the paper, map, note, said to retreat underground. So I assume in the middle of this island will be an underground entranceway. Alright, let's get up there. Do some exploring. Oh, oh, I'm a little weary of snow traps. Are you going to troll us? Huh? Meh. Now that I have iron. <laughs> uh, now that I have iron. Leather, it seems such, such preposterous. Only a pauper would wear leather. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks for the bread. Why did I break the spawner? I should have looked. I should have looked through the spawner. Okay. Um, I see a little structure. I would laugh if that was just the, the record box. <laughs> and here's your record. I really didn't want you to do this area for very long. Have a record. I'm going to guess that is not the case, though. Oh, no. This looks like... Oh, where's my bow? Oh, it broke. <laughs> oh. Um, 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 um. Oh no, I took it out and didn't put it back on my bar when I put the put the map. All right, so that spawner has to unexist. I don't care how. I will make it unexist. All right, first things first. We need torches. What is this? Sub area, sub area. Alright, well, first things first. We're gonna have to get rid of those spawners to definitely, definitely make things very unfun for us. And I look, I saw two signs for sub areas. I'm curious. And there was some chest papers. This bow is totally gonna break in a second. 
Let's see if I can get a little bit more lighting around this island. It might be in our best interest to kind of do a quick lighting pass around the place. Ah! Well, I'm going to guess that hole right there is... No! Oh, that hole right there is the two places... Oh, God. We need to go, but I don't want to go right now. Oh, I'm gonna be to be slightly careful. I was gonna say I have to be slightly careful with these swords. We don't have the we lose durability even if we don't do damage with uh, this version. I think it wasn't until 1.6 where it was actually um, updated and fixed so that you only lost durability when you did damage. Well, I have to keep that in mind. Now, those holes that were right there, were those cheaty holes? Okay, there's just some loot here. Did I get this loot? I think I did. No, I didn't. The answer? No. No, I did not. Now, I'm not sure if those holes were revealed because of they were cheaty holes and we updated something near it, or they were actually just there. Either way... It seems that that is probably where we're going to need to go um, after I get rid of these spawners. I did get rid of the spiders, so that's a good start. We do need to get in there, though, and take care of spawners. Ow, oh, jeez. I forgot you guys were... Half a damn block tall. Oh, this whole island is made of silverfish blocks, isn't it? You are going to be that kind of guy, are you, 3-2? I thought we had something special, 3-2. I thought we had something special. My death is not that special. <laughs> it actually looks like there's a chest. Oh, not that. Don't want to drink the fire. Just... Looks like there's a chest. In the middle of that. I wonder if there was a chest in the middle of the, um... The one that was on top of Area 2 as well. That's an interesting question. I'm definitely... I have to take a look into that. Selfish, I'm sorry! I don't have time to play. Oh. I don't have time to play with you guys either. Oh, I don't have torches. No, 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 no. My swords are going to die so fast. Alright. So we got a little bit of light in there. That should deter their spawns a little bit. Not completely. No. Damn it. Hey guys. Oh, oh no. Um, oop. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. We're making progress. Getting some good lighting down. Alright. So it looks like, in the grand scheme of things, there's going to be two entrance ways. Assuming enough that they're both leading to different areas. I assume those are the two sub areas. Alright, what do we got? Sub area, Dead Richard's Flux, and the Lower Vortex. There's the lore with those. I do want to get rid of. No! I don't want to go down yet. No, I didn't want to go down yet! What did I say? Ah. Making things difficult for me. No means no. I should know how this works. Alright. <laughs> Let's get... Try to get back up. Try to get out. Let's 
Let's see if I can actually get into this damn thing now. La la. You, you. Oh, I've made a grave mistake. No, no, no. Um, I need regen right now. Things. Get rid of you. 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 Whew. Okay. Come on. All right. Seems that we've made this a lot peaceful, a lot more peaceful now. Now it's a matter of getting out, cleaning up the remaining bad things in here, and I think we are safe to investigate up here. Well, hello there. <laughs> Three, two, you are a kind and generous soul. I do tell you, tell you that from the depths of my heart. Oh, it's good things right there. Arrows are always good. You are good. You are good. You, 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 you. Um, I shall leave here for now. Ooh, power one. And I think our bow repaired itself. GG125. You buggy buggy soul. Okay. So I think... We're done with that aspect of the area. It's now just heading into... One of the... Mm, areas itself. I choose you! I don't know what you are, but I choose you. It's already not looking the funnest. Hello? Well, this area doesn't look... <laughs> doesn't look like it's gonna be fun. Um, before we do that, let me be a smart player and make myself a nice, good old chest. We'll deposit our extra gear, this broken bow, food, um, we'll keep these here, you, you, mm, 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 mm. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm a little busy. Don't have time for you. Um, deposit the extra things. Just like that. Now, in the off chance, or the oh, the chance we do die, which seeing that gas spawner greatly increases that risk. Seeing as we'll probably die. Looks like lap is over there. It'll probably be good for us to deposit our things. Okay, this power one bow is going to be a game changer for us. <laughs> now we just need to kill everything before it kills us. Pro tip in CTMs. Kill things before they kill you. Man, I don't know what I'm looking at over here. This is going to be crazy! Alright. Now, should I keep one of these gas spawners? That would probably be a fantastic idea on our part if we don't want to... 
to worry about farming gas tiers. Now, I could go along the outside like so. This would actually probably be one of the better, safer ways to actually go down this, now that I kind of think of it. I was like, I should probably back up and go down the normal way. I see those blaze spawners. I <laughs> am going to go as far away from those blaze spawners as I can. Oh, no, 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 no. I see you. Don't play coy with me. Put the put my back to a wall so I don't have to worry about you being that kind of guy. Okay. Um, what am I going to be running into? I see a rail line there. I'm wondering, kind of a thought, is if... All three of the intersection areas, areas from intersection one actually led to that part two. Because, you know, we were in area two, and we ran into the number two, not the number one. That's actually a good potential right there. So I wonder if that will actually go to the area. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, oh, 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 oh. oh, that sounded like a blaze for a second. I was gonna, I was gonna about to be, about to be a little scared there. Okay, so I believe I saw magma cubes up on the top there. Blazes. Ah, blazes. Do I have my strength still? Okay, it's about to wear out. Um, exploring this area could potentially lead to something useful. That looks like a rail line kind of thing. Um, that's blade. Oh! The hell did you come from? Probably over there. Um, this will probably be the safest way up. Well, I think. Save us way up, as I have fire resist, so I don't have to worry about the blazes. And I should be... No. I was like, I should be far enough away. Ow. Can't see out. I was like, yeah, I should be far enough away. I should be perfectly fine. That was not the case. Okay, so up here we should be getting... Yeah! Harvey! This is actually a very productive episode. We found the jukebox monument. Potentially area intersection 2. Um, now I did see something down there that I want to get to. Take a gander at this. Alright, speed potion. Let me run the line and see if this actually leads to where I think it does. Ooh. I'm guessing this is going to lead over to the intersection too as well. In that case, we're definitely missing something from... If, if this does lead over to the same place as the um, other area, we're definitely missing some stuff over in intersection... Or not intersection 1, area 1. That would lead us over to here. Probably some obvious arrow, like the cobblestone one. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this does lead over to the same. Okay, so each each of the areas appears to actually lead over to the same place. Now I wonder if I run down area one's pathway, if I'm going to find extra loot that I did not find before. Ha, ha, ha. It is a interesting proposition, a potential proposition. And we do have... So I guess this, is, in fact, was not an intersection 2. More like... Sub-intersection 1. Uh, okay, this is 13. 13. Sub-intersection 1. Slash monument. Um, we're going for a yellow-white. 
15. Tiki, tiki. So it does make me interested in the process, uh, the thought of there being loot down one. Now I'm gonna take a bit of a risk here and assume this is where it's gonna get me killed. <laughs> I'm gonna assume the rail line actually works like the others have. The uh, the other two appeared like they actually they worked. So either this is going to lead to a trap, or this will lead to some section of area one that we did not see. Probably, if I had to guess, at the bottom of that tower, some little entrance way into it. If I had to guess, but uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll find out in a second. We'll either find out or die. Either way, we might might or might not be happy. You know, let's hope for the best. Or this could just lead over to the next intersection. That's always an op a possibility. Um, uh oh. Glad I jumped off. I don't know if I would have died necessarily. It's never, never, never. You never want to take that risk if you don't have to. Lots of building blocks. I like the, that. Um. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I remember pointing out that gravel thing. I'm like, what? What this is? Oh well. It's probably 3-2 making a brush stroke mistake. Tricky, tricky guy. I should have investigated it. I should have known better. Alright, so it appears with that we have successfully completed intersection 1. We'll be moving our way over to intersection 2 next time. Um, off screen, I will definitely move my uh, move my supplies over from the first in first intersection over to here um, if I don't uh yeah I'll do that I'll move my stuff over to here for next time um, actually this episode's been getting nice and long there's probably gonna be a few cuts to chop out some of this rail lines length but uh now let's end it there let's end it there I think we've been going long for enough so I think for next time we'll move our stuff down or, or I might save moving my stuff down in lieu of uh, us investigating down into the nether part for next time. Though we'll probably want to put a bed down here. Mm. We'll move our bed down here. Um, and then uh, we'll investigate into the down, downer lower part for next time. So that's going to do it for today. As always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, this is Rock, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!